Hi Tamal, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Now, in this week's column, you start with the arrest of a nominee director. There was a time when banks used to be scared of the three C's, the CBC, the CAG, and the CBI. Now, you highlight that the arrest would lead to a kind of fair psychosis. Now, is that again building up one? Two, is it justified under the Companies Act? Well, um, yes, you know, this is not the first time. If you remember uh, sometime in November 2021, former SBI chairman Pratip Chaudhary also was arrested. Of course, the cases were different. Here in this case, this gentleman, Samir Nath, is 74-year-old, and he was uh, on the board of a company. And, um, and this company uh, uh, did not pay the PF dues, did not deposit the money with the uh, commissioner. And that's how he was arrested. Now, Companies Act 2013 uh, does not distinguish among the directors, you know, the nominee directors, the so-called independent directors, or even executive directors. It's not in the right spirit. And it will create a fear psychosis, uh, and it will it uh, you will find it difficult to get uh, uh, nominee directors on the board after such kind of incidents. Now you also discuss the ramifications of the new SE judgment. Can you explain in detail how this changes the resolution process? Uh, well, <laughs> it's interesting, you know. If you see the first case under IBC, IBC came into picture in uh, in December two thousand sixteen, and the first case uh, where I of uh, IBC which gone to the court and uh, which is the ICICI bank filed again innovative industries uh, in Pune in 2017, August 2017. And the Supreme Court judgment said is this, I read out, the moment the adju adjudicating authority is satisfied that a default has occurred, the application must be admitted unless it is incomplete. Adjudicating authority is NCLT. Now, in this case, uh, the latest case, which is in relation to uh, Vidarbha Industries Power Limited, uh, what the Supreme Court says under Section 7 of IBC, you know, it is the NCLT may admit, which in contrast to Section 9 of IBC, which deals with the um, operational characters, uh, you know, the, the, the supplier of goods and others, etc., in contrast to the lenders. In that case, shall. So it is distinguishing between operational creditors and the and the lenders, the financial creditors. And it says that it is the NCLT uh, is discretion, mm -hmm. not only distinguishing between operational creditor and uh, the lenders, uh, financial lenders. You are also talking about a new genre of default, which is temporary default. Now, uh, in sum, this will only this will only further slow down the IBC process, the loan resolution process, which is crawling at the moment. Now, you talk about further slowing down of IBC process and you discuss a few interesting numbers there, right? How do you think IBC has worked out over the last six years that it has been in operation now? It's still at an experimental stage. Let me uh, bear with me some numbers I'll give you. Um, under the, I think under Section 12 of IBC, uh, which was uh, earlier, um, it was it spoke about uh, lesser number of days, but in I think 2019 it says about that, um, it the case must be solved once it's admitted into NCT in 333 days, 333 days. Yeah. And what happened is in up to March 2021, we have seen that 406 days it took for 354 cases that year. Uh -huh. And then March 22, the days gone up, 449 cases, 449 days it took for 494 cases. And yeah. as we speak, uh, till June, uh, this fiscal year, it took 709 days for 23 cases. Yeah. So the days are increasing. Till June 2020, we have recovered about 31%. 7.67 trillion, 7 lakh 67,000 uh, crore uh, yeah. money was involved in the process and the recovery was 2.35 trillion. Till September 2021, the recovery rates were 35.89%. And then uh, by December 2021, it dropped to 33.1%. Uh, now it has dropped to further 31%. Yeah. 
So number of days are stretching, number of days taken, and the recovery also going down. Now, one way of looking at it that the low-hanging fruits, um, you know, at the initial stage, you pick them up and you yeah. got, got good money. There are uh, certain other reasons also, if you wish, we can discuss. So what are these other reasons? And two, more important, what needs to change here? You know, certain time you will find you get a shock that liquidation value is only 5% or 2%. Now, it, depending on what kind of industry it is, you know, certain industry, I mean, you, you start losing value. If it's not in operation, if it's not in working condition, you start losing value. Now, our IBC does not have any provision for preservation of assets. Mm -hmm. That's the key difference between IBC in India and overseas. Now, NCLT <clears throat> deals with IBC cases, but not only the IBC cases. NCLC is saddled with the old uh, BIFR cases, as well as the Ministry of Company Affairs, all the mergers and acquisitions need the you nod know, of the NCLT. Yes. So I'm reading out this number of cases at NCLT pending. As on June 2022, the number of cases pending before NCLT, hold your breath, 21,089. Out of this, 13,188 are IBC related cases. Okay. So it's like Indian judiciary, you know, NCLT has only 16 benches. Yes. Only 16 benches. And you know, and there are 29 courts under these benches and there are 31 members. There should be 63 members. So 33, 32 vacancies as of June, 32 vacancies exist. And the 16 benches and 29 courts are not enough. So there are a string of things uh, need to be done. Having said that, do we say it's a, it's a complete failure? Uh, IBC, certainly not. The threat of IBC actually has changed the body language of corporate India. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. We hope to discuss more things with you next week. Thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.